Gap area of Columbus with Pastor Ben Douglas of Faith Community Church. Ben, can you give us a little bit of the tour of the space? I'd love to, yeah. So this here is the future family ministry center for our church. The goal is to engage families uh, that are in the community that might not otherwise step foot in the church. Or literally across the street from an elementary school that has uh, 400 plus students. This right here, we're hoping to turn into a coffee shop. We actually have the old coffee bar here. We have a room, two bathrooms back here and then over here. What we'd love to see is a place where families come in and get hot chocolate together. They're able to interact with Christian adults that are safe. We think mentoring is a big deal. We think one-to-one -one relationships really is what ministry is about. Watch your step as you come through here. We have families associated with our church that struggle with housing insecurity. They might be working poverty and they don't have any cushion to protect them. They don't really have a career. And so what we want to do is turn this upstairs space into transitional housing so that they can uh, get settled, start building a cushion of money to protect them, to start working on their um, soft skills which are like people skills. There's a lot of spiritual underpinnings that seem to come out. And so things like soul care would be really an, an important uh, aspect. Our church is a little church. We have about 50 people on a given Sunday. Our church doesn't have the funds within itself to be able to make this uh, a reality. And so we've partnered with other churches from demoing to doing framing and installing windows our after-school tutoring program. We depend on churches that come in and mentor these kids, pray with these kids, and um, share the hope of Jesus with them. There is an opportunity for Christians all across our country to dive in with their urban brothers and sisters and to say, hey, we're in this with you. How can we partner with you together to further the kingdom of God? Craig is here. Welcome back. Peace, brother. Good to have you here. Yeah, we want to have a special honor for all our mothers here this morning. So happy Mother's Day. May the Lord's blessing be upon you. Um, yeah, special day. Without you, who would be here? Thanks. <laughs> Little song for him. Little song for him. Other than that, we're just going to kid No, kidding. Yeah, so we have a couple announcements I want to bring your way. Big change, not big change, annual change coming up. Beginning uh, May 30th, we're going to go to one service time. It's at 9.30. So you got a couple weeks to get ready. One service time at 9.30, starting on May 30th. Very good. So we all are aware of that. We are having a graduation card shower, if you will, for our graduates, and this year we have Spencer Sloan. He has um, been part of our youth ministry for a number of years. He's um, Pastor Kelly and Lynn Sloan's son from Fairview, so we're pleased to have him part of our youth group. Seth Dodds, part of our own church here, Sean Earl, and Brandon Smith, all part of our church. So these guys are moving on and up, or out, or they're moving, so... They're going to be graduating, and we have a box in the foyer there. If you want to give them a card and just encourage them that way, that would be appreciated. Also in the back, you'll see the baby bottles. This is our annual, and ours, the Sunrise Women's Clinic annual, uh, I'm not going to say it right, baby bottle blessing. Okay, So we hope that you can bring them back like this, full of change, or you can put cash in there or a check. The Sunrise Women's Clinic is our not just our city, but our, in this region, a life-affirming, life-supporting women's clinic. Obviously, there are young couples that have an unplanned pregnancy. This clinic is there to support life. There are Bible studies for them. There are parenting classes. There are um, education. How do you parent? They earn to learn. They attend so many classes. They get different uh, stuff for the kids, whatnot. Super great ministry. I know many of you are well aware of it. I just want to bring it to your attention. Pick up your baby bottle on the way out, and next week or whenever, bring it back. Full money to support them. 
Um, yeah, there's other announcements. I'm going to ask that you would read those uh, in your bulletin. And this morning, our special focus for blessing our community, big surprise, we want to pray a blessing over our mothers, all the mothers. We want to pray that God would refresh them and honor them in their role as moms, that they would be strengthened with grace and wisdom and love in serving their children. And we can add grandchildren because there's grandmas. And that they could model and express God's love and grace. So let us begin with prayer. Father God, we are more than blessed today for the rain that you provided. It's been something that's been on many of our hearts and minds and we prayed and prayed and we thank you for the answer and just we know it's from you and just how refreshing that is for the crops and all that. So thank you for providing that. Thank you for providing this opportunity to gather together to be able to worship freely, to be able to worship in public. Father God, we acknowledge and invite your presence here with us. Pray that whatever is sung or said or preached here this morning would be uh, directly for us and that we would apply it to our lives. And Lord, yeah, we want to pray a special blessing on all mothers, those that are present here or watching online. Lord, we ask that you'd refresh them, that you would strengthen them with the grace and wisdom and the love that they need in serving their children or their grandchildren and that they'll be able to model and express your own nurturing love and grace. So this day, Lord, we pray your blessing, especially on our mothers, pray your blessing on this worship service. We offer it up to you, and we ask and pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, welcome, and um, we're glad that you're here or watching online, um, listening online, and we just invite you to worship along with us this morning. Let's lift our hearts together to the Lord our God. If you'd like to stand, please feel free to stand with us this morning.
Lord, we do praise you. We lift up your voice, or our voice to you, God. We lift up your name. We thank you, Lord, that we can come here this morning. We thank you for the blessing of your rain, raining down on us, Lord, your sweet goodness to us that we don't deserve, but you, you graciously give us anyway. Lord, thank you that every good and perfect gift is from you. Lord, thank you that you are perfect in all your ways. Lord, we thank you for your atoning sacrifice that Jesus paid for us on the cross and his resurrection, Lord. We thank you that we can have hope in you, God. Lord, I pray that you would fill us with hope today. Lord, if we are um, feeling hopeless or in despair, God, I pray that you would fill those who feel that way right now, Lord, with your, with your power, with your peace, that your presence would be with them powerfully this morning. Lord, refresh their soul, God. God, I pray that you would examine our hearts this morning, that you would show us right now anything that is displeasing to you, God, anything that we need to confess to you, God, as sin, that we would agree with you about that, God, and that we would repent of it this morning, that we would turn away from that and turn to you, Lord. And God, that we would worship you and adore you. You are worthy of praise worthy of our worship every day. Help us to worship you in spirit and in truth right now, God.
Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your steadfast love. Thank you, Lord, that we can call upon your name. Lord, thank you that you see us and you hear us. Thank you that nothing can separate us from the love that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for the promises that we have in your word. This next song is um, an old hymn, and you might not be familiar with it exactly, um, but I just encourage you to, to think about it, the words, and um, it talks about how the love of God, the love of Jesus, is like a huge ocean. And um, I think about the verse that it talks about, your waves and breakers crash over me, and um, just the power of God, the awesomeness of God, and yet God loves us, and that he is not far from us. Good news. We have some technical difficulties here. <laughs> I'm thankful for microphones and sound equipment and thankful for a sound man to help get all those things working. Can you start again? Are you back with us? I don't know. All right. <laughs> All right. So, Lord, just help us to think about this song. Um, think about your awesome power, God. Help us to meditate on it this morning. I pray that you would refresh us. Thank you, God.
let it be so, Lord. Let it be so. Lord, let it be. God, that your presence would be in us and surrounding us, Lord, as we go out from here. Lord, that you would be in every part of our life, that you would be welcome and reigning in every part of our life, God. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your undeserved grace, your undeserved mercy, Lord, that you have poured out on us, Lord, through the the gift of your son, Jesus, and all that you have provided for us through him, our redemption, our forgiveness, our access to you, God. Lord, thank you that we can come boldly to your throne with confidence because of the sacrifice of Jesus. Amen. In the book of Colossians, Paul writes, My purpose is that they may be encouraged in heart and united in love, so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding, in order that they may know the mystery of God, namely Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I want us... I want you to listen to scripture this morning that I trust will be of encouragement to you. I want you to receive what you're about to hear as from the Lord himself. Some of the verses that you are going to hear will be more applicable to you than others. My prayer is that you would be encouraged today by the word of the Lord. You have an insert that has the scriptures, the references that I'll be going through. I believe they are in the correct order. Just go down column by column. I am not going to reference each scripture. I'm going to read them. What I encourage you to do is follow along. And when one of these verses jumps out to you, it's speaking to you today. God is speaking to you. I want you to make note of it. And I want you to hang on to that an encouragement from the Lord to you, maybe just for today, maybe this week, maybe this season of your life. You may hear others that in the coming days or months will be God's word of encouragement to you. I'm just encouraging you to follow along as I read them. I want you to highlight one or two that speak to you today. So Father God, as we look into your word, as we literally read Scripture, I pray that your Holy Spirit will speak to us. Maybe it's just one verse. Maybe it's one part of one verse today. Maybe it's multiple verses. Either way, Lord, I pray that we can be encouraged by your word. We ask and pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not Let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. For God did not give us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power 
of love and of self-discipline. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust God. Trust also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Surely I will be with you always to the very end of the ages. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Cast all your anxiety upon him because he cares for you. Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who works in you to will and to act according to his good purpose. Now to him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy, to the only God our Savior be glory, majesty, power and authority through Jesus Christ our Lord before all ages now and forevermore. If God is for you, Who can be against you? Nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. 
the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. You are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Greater love has no one than this, that one lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only he who believes that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Having believed, you were marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of his glory. We have one who speaks to the Father in our defense, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not only for our sins, but also for the sins of the whole world. I am not ashamed, because I know whom I have believed, and am convinced that he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him for that day. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. I will forgive their wickedness and will remember their sins no more. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. You did not choose me, but I chose you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. For it is by grace that you have been saved through faith, and this not from yourselves. It is a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. He chose to give us birth through the word of truth that we might be a kind of first fruits of all he created. He chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Now it is God who makes both us and you stand firm in Christ. He anointed us, set his seal of ownership on us, and put his spirit in our hearts as a deposit, guaranteeing what is to come. 
God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God, my Savior. The sovereign Lord is my strength. Let us approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him. He delivers them. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. When I am afraid, I will trust in you, in God, whose word I praise, in God I trust. I will not be afraid. What can mortal man do to me? So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. There is no condemnation. For those who are in Christ Jesus. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion, and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. Did you find a verse or two that spoke to you, that encouraged you? Hang on to these promises. This is the word of God. As we just sang a minute ago, as we, we heard, God is for you. God is for you no matter what situation you are in. Know that he wants to be in a life-transforming relationship with you. And also know that he is in control over everything that happens in your life, everything, you can trust him. I want to invite you, if you haven't done so already, to put your trust in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, to begin a life-transforming relationship with him, receiving the forgiveness of your sins and so much more. So I'm going to ask you to bow your heads. And if you have yet to place your trust, your faith in Jesus Christ, re repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner, and I realize that my good deeds could never make up for my sins. Jesus, I need your forgiveness. I believe you were born to save me from my sins. I believe that you died for my sins. I repent. I turn away from my sins and I turn to you. Please forgive me. I receive your forgiveness 
and I surrender everything I am and everything I have to you. I trust you, Jesus, to be my Savior, and with your help, I will follow you as my Lord in the fellowship of your church. Father God, we pray for anyone who's just entered that relationship with you, that this would be but the beginning of an abundant and full life here on this earth. And we, we know you promise us eternal life when we surrender and commit to you. I pray for all of us, Lord, may we be encouraged today. May we be encouraged by your word, which is true. And maybe there is one verse in there, or one part of a verse, maybe there's multiple verses that spoke to us. I pray, God, today and in the days and the months ahead, we will hang on to your word, that we may be encouraged no matter what may come. We ask and we pray this all in Jesus' name and for his sake and his glory. Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask you to stand and receive the benediction. Also let you know we have different uh, life groups that are going on, adults, kids, youth. I want you to get plugged into those because they do help. I pray the Lord will bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Amen.